VIP clients devoted to luxury group Caring's impressive stable of high-end brands mingled with heavy-duty Hollywood star power on Monday night at the third annual Caring Foundation, Caring for Women, Dinner, which raises funds to support NGOs working to eradicate all forms of violence against women. Even with the 81st Venice Film Festival winding down and both the Toronto International Film Festival and New York Fashion Week in full swing, the stars showed up at Caring's splashy event at the Grill plus the pool at New York's Seagram Building. Several stars in attendance already demonstrate a proactive commitment to the evening's theme, supporting and empowering women. Anyone who looks at my Instagram or any speech I've ever given knows that it's very important for me to work as a society to eradicate all gender-based violence, Jessica Chastain told The Hollywood Reporter. It hurts people. It hurts our planet. It hurts everything about us and our humanity. So I'm very, very happy to be part of the event. I know it's only the third year, but last year they raised $3 million, and I find that very impressive. In addition to Chastain, guests included Leonardo DiCaprio, Kim Kardashian, Orlando Bloom and Katy Perry, Julianne Moore and Bart Freundlich, and Matthew McConaughey and Camilla Alves, among the night's co-hosts. The celebrities gathered to once again help raise roughly $2 million to benefit three nonprofit organizations Girl Effect, which provides resources to young women in African countries and other parts of the world to ensure they earn an education and are put on the path to productive lives. It's on us, which activates student driven programs to prevent sexual assault on university campuses, and the National Network to End Domestic Violence which represents more than 2,000 member organizations throughout the U.S. working at all levels to assist women and families experiencing violence in the home. Ricky Martin launched his eponymous foundation in 2004, embracing values that align well with the organization's honored Monday evening. It's important to support anything that has to do with empowering women, and through my own foundation, I know what it's like to work in alliances, he explained to THR. For many years, I've been fighting human trafficking, and obviously I have to work with women who are affected by human trafficking. My foundation used to focus on children, but now in general it's about human rights. So I'm also here tonight to see how these organizations approach their efforts, because I think I can learn from them, and we can exchange ideas. That's one of the beautiful things about an event like this. Naomi Watts was among the style highlights of the night in a stunning strapless Balenciaga gown. She joined all the stars decked out in caring owned labels, including Chastain and Gucci. Martin and Bottega Veneta and Kardashian in the molded wet dress from Balenciaga's summer 2024 collection. In 2022, Watts launched Stripes, a beauty and wellness collection of science-based products designed to assist women in all phases of menopause. I am working to better the health and wellness of women during the menopausal phase of their lives, so when I was asked to attend, it was a no-brainer, she explained to THR. There's no tolerance for violence against women in this world, and this kind of gathering, though it feels small and intimate, it's the kind that will be effective and will move the needle. Was Watt surprised by the wholly positive reaction she received following the launch of Stripes and her subsequent high-profile conversations about the physical and mental health issues women experience between their 40s and 60s? I'm thrilled it's been so positive, but I'm also not that surprised because we needed to open this conversation for so many decades, she said. It was kind of the last untouched conversation openly talking about menopause, and it needed to happen. While the night focused on raising funds for the three nonprofits, with corporate heavy hitters in the room, including Jeff Bezos, 
Lowe's Hotel CEO Jonathan Tisch, and Condé Nast Chairman of the Board Jonathan Newhouse. Tidbits rooted in Hollywood, Fashion Week and beyond inevitably also became hot topics. Salma Hayek Pinault, the movie star wife of caring president and CEO, and CAA owner, Francois-Henri Pinault, paired her custom black Gucci gown with a Boucheron high jewelry necklace crafted of rock crystal and diamonds, an ornate design that required more than 5,000 hours to complete. Kerry Washington, who wore a beaded Bottega Veneta gown, said she hasn't tired of hearing that people loved her segment with Kamala Harris's two nieces during the Democratic National Convention. It was so much fun, and people are still telling me it was one of their favorite moments, she noted to THR. It was such a joyful moment, I'm so glad I could be a part of it, Martin, meanwhile, said he'll be at the Emmy Awards on Sunday evening to cheer on his Palm Royale cast members and the Apple TV Plus show's terrific presence for the ceremony. We got 11 nominations, he exulted with a big grin. I think that's just huge. But when you have someone like Carol Burnett working with you, and then you have the passion of Kaya Gerber, who is giving so much to the story, it all comes together so beautifully. And I love that we have all these generations putting a show together, a show that a whole family can sit down and enjoy with a funny storyline. It's such a pleasure. Palm Royale already has captured one of those Emmys, with composer Jeff Toyne winning the award for Outstanding Original Main Title Theme Music at the Creative Arts Emmys. Following a dinner and auction that ran the gamut of luxe items and hospitality experiences from caring brands, which also include Alexander McQueen, Saint Laurent and Pomelato, the evening wrapped with a performance by British singer-songwriter Ray. Ultimately, the night's blend of philanthropy, fashion and entertainment accomplished its central goal, to raise awareness and much-needed funds to support women at every stage of their lives. Gender-based violence knows no boundaries, caring CEO Pinault said in a statement released Monday night. It crosses borders, cultures and socioeconomic lines. It is a calamity that affects the daily lives of women and tears at the fabric of our humanity. At the Caring Foundation, we believe that continuous action is necessary when confronting gender-based violence especially in the important work of prevention. This commitment to stopping violence transmitted through generations is at the heart of the Caring Foundation's mission. Quote, 